In eastern central Pennsylvania lied a track called Nazareth Speedway. From the turn of the century till 2004, the track held many different races, including NASCAR and IndyCar races. By looking at the track today, you would have never known what a thriving racetrack it used to be. Nazareth Speedway has existed as two different tracks. The original small track opened in 1910 and was used for horse racing. Auto events did happen here, but it was something called auto polo. The first major race to happen here was in 1947 and drew a crowd of 11,000. The track continued to be used consistently up until when it was closed in 1988. It was eventually sold, demolished, and turned into a giant grocery store. Here's some footage of the final event held here. The big track was built in the mid-60s as a dirt track. Many stars of American open-wheel racing competed in events here, such as Allen's or Sr. and local driver and racing legend Mario Andretti. The track, however, closed in 1971 and will remain inactive for 11 years until Lindy Vicari bought the track. He hoped that the track could run big events and become the top dirt track in the East. Running the track turned out to be too much of a financial burden for him, and the track closed again a year later. In 1986, Roger Penske, this Penske, bought the track. He paved the track, and it reopened a year later, with the first event being a PPG Kart Series event, won by Mario's son, Michael. NASCAR's Bush Series, nowadays sponsored by Xfinity, started racing here a year later, but the events were held on separate weekends. NASCAR also had its Truck Series race here between 1996 and 2001. Kart also stopped racing here that year, and the race went to the rival Indy Racing League. Penske eventually sold the track to International Speedway Corp when he merged his track-owning operations with them in 1999. The Bush and IRL races continued to draw crowds, but in late 2004, ISC decided to close the track for reasons still unstated. Martin Truex Jr. and the late Dan Weldon won the final races here respectively. Today, the grandstands are gone and the track is fenced off and torn up. All signage from the track has been removed. Urban explorers have still managed to get into the track and into its buildings such as the medical center. In November 2015, Raceway Properties LLC purchased the property. As part of the offer, there is a clause that states that racing remains banned from returning to the property, mainly due to the proximity to Pocono Raceway, about 30 miles to the north. The property is currently zoned as general commercial property, with the most recent plans being to convert sections to residential zoning and to build a warehouse for Martin Guitars, which is headquartered in the area. Nazareth Speedway was a great track that sadly was chosen to rot away. It is a shame that this had to happen to this track. It really didn't deserve it.